quick demo? Yep. So I'm gonna uh, verify the tags by touching the phone. It right away sends the phone number to your phone, so no need to type those. Same goes with predefined SMS messages and uh, video URLs or whatever URLs. So you could have a web page opening by just simply touching the tag. So you just simply you touch the phone to a web screen, or uh, what do you touch it to? In this case, there is a small, like this kind of RF, passive RFID tag. Okay. It contains one kilobyte of memory, and it, it reads the contact info from that, from like three, four centimeters distance. See, this is a good, say you're in the subway, and you're walking in, and you see the movie poster. You can just tap on it and scan it, and then it will give you the trailer to the movie. Okay. Cool, and then you'll see it on there. So upon your request, it's pushing information to yeah. you, whether it be a phone number, a movie trailer, and then it also, the technology enables you to make a financial transaction as well, but a secure financial transaction because it will require you to yeah. do a, a password. So this could take the place of your ATM card. Exactly. And the trials are ongoing now, but this is our phone that we launched with the trials. So this kind of payment terminal is spreading in US fast. Instead of using the plastic one, you can use the phone. So this one has a PIN code activation, so it's more secure. But this is a user defined old password, which could be turned on. When you activate it, it's active only for 60 seconds and you can make a transaction. But if you want to make it faster, you use a good switch it back off. Thank you. That you have the uh, paybacks active all the time. So now it would be quite similar to your normal plastic card. So you just go and show the card to the reader and it works. But if you want to increase the security, then you could have this kind of activation pin code there. That's awesome. And what is uh, what is the price on a phone like this? It's right now it's under trial. We're looking okay. at, I believe, our price. You want to select the correct uh, device you want to send it to. But in this one, all you need to do is select the uh, file you want to send. Let's take the third one. Then this one has also the same kind of RFID tag there, which contains the Bluetooth address of the device. And by just approving it, it right away sends it to the frame. So it's much faster than by manual browsing. And same goes with printing. So we could select any image. Let's take the first one. Send it. And it sends to the printer and it right away starts printing it out. Wow. So that eliminates the, the, the whole need for a computer. You, with uh, downloading it from your cell phone, you just stick it straight onto the printer and print it off. Now the slowest part is printing the image. Of course. <laughs> Yeah. The smartphone technology to taste it on a, a Series 40 device, which is normally didn't been an entry level device. And you can do maps, you can do Google Maps, you can do Flickr on here, news feeds. A really beautiful interface, really So, this is we're showing that on. To the intro models. 